everybody. Ryan from Intel here again with my good buddy, Tap. Hey, guys. And we are here to answer some questions from the community, Q&A that you have sent in to us to help fill in some of the gaps about uh, you know, other content we've produced, videos we've put out there, uh, that maybe you still have a little bit of detail that you want to get into. So let's jump into it. So the first question I have here for you is, Legacy APIs versus newer APIs. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about, you know, we, we've, we've been very open about the performance and we what have. people should expect when these cards go on sale. And that there's a there will be a performance delta for some period of time between yeah. older APIs and newer. Yep. Why is that? Well, it, it's a, first of all, it's a great question. I've, I've had this come up several times. What we've said publicly is that we expect DX12 titles and Vulcan titles to be very good performance relative to comp competition. We've also said that on some DX11 titles, we're gonna do great, but other DX11 titles, we're not gonna do great. And it's gonna be a progress you know, improvement over time. So why is it? Why is it so related to DX11? Uh, the way to think about it is the DX11 API is structured so that the driver and Microsoft have made it really easy for game developers to do code. So on the game mm. side, they don't have to you know, do a lot of management of resources. They don't have to like do a lot of like how does memory work. All of that is taken care of by the API inside of Microsoft and our driver. Got it. Now what that means is uh, we have to do a really good job of behavior that the game developers have come to expect when they're used to NVIDIA hardware. And the truth is that our hardware is very different from NVIDIA, so we now have to kind of start tuning all of our DX11 work to match what older titles have expected and done well with NVIDIA and AMD. Now, DX12 and Vulkan have kind of changed that paradigm, and, and the, the layer is much thinner, and, and, and the driver and Microsoft are responsible for less memory management, less resource allocation. It's all put into the, the game uh, developer and the game engine itself. So I think of it as um, they're responsible for managing resources, we don't, and that means that new titles uh, will take care of it themselves, right? And they'll, they'll do whatever multi-pass rendering algorithms they want, and they're going to tune it. So at the end of the day, we have a lot of, uh, it's just going to be a labor of love for forever, uh, <laughs> making DX11 titles get better and better and better, and DX9 as well. But then Vulkan and DX12 titles are just in general going to be more optimized for Intel GPUs as we start to have a larger footprint. So, so it's safe to say that at, as newer titles come out that are using these newer APIs, the kind of the, uh, the portfolio or library of games that work better on Arc will improve. Yeah, and, and one great example is, uh, and I hate to say it, we didn't ask Linus to do this, but he did it, right? And you can see uh, there's a video of uh, Shadow, of the, I think it's Shadow, Shadow of the Tomb Raider running a DX11 and DX12, and the perf difference is big, mm -hmm. right? And so when you kind of say uh, it's a real thing, it's related to legacy APIs being optimized for other architectures, and newer APIs are able to dynamically kind of uh, kind of configure themselves based on the hardware that's available. And it's also worth noting that some older games have been updating to these newer APIs Absolutely. as well. Like Absolutely. Fortnite yeah. and World of Warcraft have, yeah. have all added, have both added DX12 code paths. You know what, it's not a, it's, after not, it's not massively difficult to do for a game developer. It's just there has to be, there has to be a business case for them to do it. And I think you're seeing a lot more game developers move that way. Okay. All right, well, that's it for uh, this question. We'll be back with more very soon. Thanks everybody.